been too long since I've done a book haul. Now, justifiably, I've not been reading that much recently, so buying new books is not really my thing. But I did get a couple of books all the way back at Christmas slash birthday time. Um, and I have just got a book that I pre-ordered that's just sitting right above me here. So it's time to do another book haul. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week and then movie reviews here at the weekend. In the description box below, you will find all of my social links, including my blog and my Goodreads, where I review most of the things that I read. Um, I would say that my Insta and that is down there as well. However, I haven't been posting on there very recently. So come and follow me on there and then maybe it'll give me the encouragement I need to post some more pictures of books and bookish loveliness very soon. So yes, let's start with this beauty up above here. Can you see these glorious spreadges? glorious glorious spreadges so i did pre-order the waterstons special edition spreadges paperback of insatiable by daisy buchanan because i have wanted to read this one it's got raised font on the front as well i wanted to read this one for quite some time now and then i saw that this special edition was coming and i was like oh okay yes going to do that one yes 100 percent want to want to read this one um so i actually pre-ordered the special edition and i have ordered myself the audiobook as well so this is a combination paperback audiobook book haul for you but um this one is just lovely i don't know if it has any additional content as well um i think it's just got the the gloriousness inside the covers lots and lots of praise to, for this one and I, I mean i just love the tagline on this one a love story for greedy girls like yes yeah i will have that one even though i'm not a fan of oranges and that makes me want to wash my hands but it also makes me want to get a manicure so um that's good uh, but yeah, I don't want to be at this party. Quite honestly, I suspect the party does not want me either. I love those opening lines. Um, so yeah, I don't think it has any specific additional content. Oh, oh, how, hold the phone. It has um, a sneak peek of careering, which is going to be obviously on my March TBR. I think I'm going to pre-order the audiobook of that one if I like the narrator that narrates Insatiable. But I have this glorious insatiable which is on my february tbr which i'll leave linked up above if you haven't seen it um but this one i also have on audiobook because if you've been following for the last couple of months i'm literally only reading audiobooks right now because i'm literally only reading on my commute to work um so that was just realistic but i like having this beautiful book and it's so gloriously floppy as well so i will be taking this one away with me and then the couple of books that i got for birthday christmas i just say birthday christmas because i generally because they're two days apart i can't remember which gift was for which occasion which if your birthdays were further apart from christmas would be a bad thing but then i just had stuff here and i was like i can't remember which was which so i did specifically ask for these gifts as well i got oh my god this is so heavy best wishes warmest regards the story of Shit's creek by daniel levy and eugene levy and oh i just love the little embossed rose on the back here it's like a wax print you can actually like feel it it's, you can't see it from the side at all but I just love that detail on the back. And this one is just a glorious coffee table book. It has some fabulous illustrations in it. It obviously has some fabulous pictures in it too. And I just, it's going to make me want to rewatch Shit's Creek. And there's other things I need to read and watch. Um, but I love the fact that it has episode by episode breakdowns as well if you've been following the channel for a while again you will know that i enjoy reading books about my favorite tv shows and listening to podcasts and videos and things like that oh my god i've just seen this page with all of david's jumpers that's amazing 
it also smells really nice because it's that like glossy finish but it's so heavy because it's that glossy finish so I did receive this one and I am excited to sit down and read it but I think I might have to sort of save it for the summertime when I might have time to re-watch the series as well because I know that if I start re-watching the series now I'm not going to get any work done ever or actually get to watch anything else or read anything else so that's not a good idea right now and then I also received a four pack of the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman now I have have a red book one I feel like I got one of them from the library and I've maybe read book one but now I have the entire series bound together as such I, I, I kind of want to take them out of the binding and I kind of don't there's a glorious cover for book four um but these are see this is why I want to take them out the novel uh, out the uh, binding because they are graphic novels and I want to show you the illustrations they do have this annoying sticker on that is definitely annoying but yes I think I have read book one and I am yet to read books two three and four but again this looks like a wonderful Saturday morning with a big cup of coffee and maybe some pastry um sitting down and reading these from cover to cover because I did I think really enjoy reading book one and so I'm excited to read the entire series and I think that they are nice being able to read the physical one maybe that's what I did maybe I did the ebook of book one if you know if you can remember me reading this graphic novel do let me know in comments but it's been a while since I read a graphic novel I did do a graphic novel reading vlog right before I moved from Denver because I had a couple from the library um, and so I will leave that linked up above or in the end screen for you because um, I did enjoy that and I do tend to do that with graphic novels in that I will binge them. I used to make them part of my regular readathons but now I'm not sort of doing readathons right now. Um, who has the time right now? Um, so doing that as like a binge we're reading graphic novels today, we're reading graphic novels this weekend, suits me a little bit better because if I'm really in the mood to read some graphic novels, I'm really in the mood to read some graphic novels. Love a graphic memoir, like a graphic YA romance type thing as well. And I'm excited that, I know we don't like non-removable stickers, but I'm excited that it's got this coming soon to Netflix badge on it because as you know, I also love making book versus movie videos. So if you know the release date of that one, do let me know in comments. Otherwise, I'm away to look it up just now um, and maybe tie in a little series reading with some series watching and clear a weekend for that. That sounds like a good plan to me. Um, so yes, all of these books will of course be linked in the description box. Um, there's some hefty weight and some diversity to my reading here but Insatiable is on my February TBR so if you haven't seen that one hopefully it will feature in my February wrap-up even though it's the 19th of February and I haven't started it yet but it's fine it's absolutely fine everything's going to be fine um yes a small book haul for you today um i do also have if you want to hear about audiobooks i have pre-ordered again rachel by marion keys which is also on my february tbr but kind of it is included in my book haul and i also pre-ordered um the new lucy not book on um I want to say it's something at Starcross Valley, but I might be getting that mixed up with her last one. I feel like I should know the title of that one, but I know you've said before you would like to hear about audiobooks I've pre-ordered as well, but I pre-ordered that one and that was a February release. I didn't put it on my February TBR because I already had quite a lot of stuff on my February TBR, so it's maybe one that I'll get to in March or push it to April when I have two weeks off of school, two weeks and a bank holiday two weeks plus the bank holiday Monday not to be that extra day teachers can do a lot with that extra day <laughs> um so maybe that's going to be in my April TBR so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those TBRs hit that notification bell to be notified next time I post bookish content if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you know when Heartstopper is coming to Netflix let me know in comments all the books will be linked in the description box and I will see you with my next video thank you so much for watching